What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another 3D printing video. As you saw from the title, today we are making Lady Loki, aka Sylvie's Crown from the new Disney Plus series. In only a couple minutes, we are going to go from this to this. And I'm going to show you how we did it. First and most important part of getting a good finish on your 3D prints is to eliminate the layer line. You do this by using a variety of different grits of sandpaper. I normally start somewhere between 60 and 80 and work my way all the way up to 400. You can use small pieces of sandpaper that come in sheets like this. Or if you want to make quicker work of it, you can use a hand sander like this. When you make that initial pass with the sandpaper, you also want to make sure you eliminate any imperfections caused by supports or just imperfections from the print. Sorry it's raining outside. So as I kind of mentioned earlier I'm going to use this hand sander to kind of make some quicker work of these flat parts. You know right here, right there, the back of it. But for these little kind of more detailed spots I'll probably have to hand sand and I really want to be careful not to sand away these little details whatever you want to call them right there and then of course i don't want to break the horn so and then you really want to be careful to not stay in one spot too long because the the hand sander will heat it up really quick and it'll melt the plastic uh, and then you just have a whole bunch of issues so be sure not to stay in one spot too long so to save you from some of the more boring sanding stuff i went ahead and i finished it i started off with 60 grit moved up to 180 then 220 and then finally i finished with 400. this is what we have now it's white so it's gonna be a little hard to actually tell. Uh, and then even harder, I actually cracked off a little part of the, uh, the little tip right here. But it actually looks better, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's white, so it's, it's, white's a little harder to tell when it's been sanded. Uh, if you hold on one second, I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. So, kind of spoiler, but if you follow me on Instagram, you already know about this, but this is the C-3PO head I'm working on, and this was printed in black, and it's a lot easier to tell that it was sanded, uh, and, you know, and you can kind of see where the big layer lines are, and, you know, so just kind of useful or useless information, you know. White is a lot easier to see on the printer, see if you have any issues than black so that's why I choose to go with white but uh anyway we're ready to prime we got four layers of primer we have to go through two light and two heavier coats uh let's do it And now for the hard part, waiting 24 to 48 hours. 24 hours later. All right, it's been about 24 hours. The primer has cured. This is what we're working with. Now it's probably the quickest part of the process here. We're just gonna hit this with a little 180 real quick to eliminate layer lines again. Then we're gonna hit it with two more heavy coats of primer. So we're gonna jump back to the time lapses and then 24 hours from now is when the real fun starts. So it is again about 24 hours later, which means we're on the last part. 
before we can start painting, which means we have to wet sand with 800 grit. Get it really nice and smooth if I can get my door open. So this is kind of the fun part because now we're gonna knock this out and then we're gonna paint. Gotta clean that up. This is always one of my favorite parts because right now from the last coat of primer you can still feel like it's very coarse I guess is a good word and by the time you're finished with this 800 grit wet sand it's just like you know glass smooth and it's just really really satisfying. So I did end up getting a new sheet. So here's the finished product all primed and sanded and ready to be painted. There's a couple things that I wish, uh, you know, like, like first of all, it's even too big for, for my head, you know, which is, as I always say, huge, but it's just for display it's not you know to wear or anything so i'm good with that uh i wish this little middle part would have came out a little bit better it's a little rough looking uh you know the print kind of failed down here i don't i don't know if y'all have noticed this little whatever this is right here but yeah no and in, in total you know i'm happy you kind of see the uh the result of the sanding. I did the back as well. So the next step is matte black. Is this nope. I know I have it in here somewhere. I keep coming to the satin and the gloss. What is this? Gunmetal. Where the heck is it? I'm gonna have to cut the video to find my matte black spray paint real quick. All right, here it is. Doesn't feel like I have too much left, but luckily the crown's pretty small, so let's paint. Typically I do some kind of time lapse for this, but let's just do this one in real time. Now my black paint right here kind of runs whenever you spray so glove ignore the little band thingy shake 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 Kind 
the one that does like the really cool earth paintings and stuff you know and not that bad and finally we are on the last step for the lady loki crown here it is after i applied the the black paint yesterday afternoon I'm going to be using the stuff called Rub and Buff. Uh, I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. $6.99. Uh, I know this looks like a really small tube, but apparently this is supposed to last quite a while. I've never used this before, so hold on for the ride because this might not go quite as planned, but I think we're going to be okay. But uh, basically, let's get this open. I've got some washcloths I'm going to use to apply it. And kind of from what I have researched, you don't really need a lot. You just need a very small amount. It would help if I opened it. And then just kind of rub it around a little bit. I'm going to start on the back just because I've never used this before. So trying to be careful. And you just kind of move in circles. So here we have the final product and overall I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, you know as I kind of mentioned a little bit earlier I wish this little middle part would have printed slightly better. Uh, the rub and buff does show some layer lines I could have done a bit better job of clearing up but you know overall especially for my first time using rub and buff I'm really excited about this. I, I love how reflective it is. Here's the back. Not, not too sure what happened here. Maybe I missed, uh, you know, I could have hit the black undercoat, base coat a little bit better right there, maybe. I don't, I don't know, but you live and you learn. And it's the back of it, so nobody's gonna be able to see that anyway. I really like this piece right here. You know, some of the other pieces that I've seen, this piece like extends out and I don't quite know how it is in the show, but I really like how this looks. How it's not like protruding out very far, you know? And then I really kind of made a mistake that turned out really good with this little horn, how it kind of how I kind of tipped it off at the at the top on accident. But it's a really clean, you know, tip. It's not sharp, so yeah so let me know what y'all think uh you know like i said a little earlier it is definitely too big to fit even my big head but i think it looks now that i'm looking at it like actually on i really like how it looks and you could kind of and I'm, and I'm keep looking at myself in the little thing at the top, not into the lens, but. And then the point is you would put, you know, elastic or something 
on the back and then it would, it would stay on your head a little bit better and then really i mean I'm, it's just gonna sit on display like i said but if you wanted to you could probably take a heat gun or something I'll, with this being wax i don't know but you might be able to take a heat gun and heat it up a little bit and then bend it so it kind of forms your head a little bit better i did print this i want to if i remember it was like 105 or something like that so this is a little bit bigger than the actual you know original file was so maybe i should have kept it at the original file but yeah no it's gonna sit on display i'll probably make the actual loki one and i'm excited so let me know in the comments what you think uh let me know in the comments if you want to see me make the regular Loki one. And as always, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so you know when future videos are posted. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all are back for the next one and see you guys later. Bye.